What's going on? This is Pedram and I'm coming to you from PedramTV.com and today in this video I want to talk about accountability. That's right, accountability is really important, really critical and you can use it towards your advantage and you can use it to get to your goals. So there is a lot of time where we feel lazy, we don't want to really do, do what we have to do. We come up with excuses. We don't feel like it. And it can be uh, really tough for most people out there to really go out there and start taking action and making stuff happen and move towards their goal. And this strategy works really well. It doesn't matter if it's in sport, fitness, dating, uh, relationship, whatever it is. If you use accountability, it's going to help you succeed and it helps you to perform better. So you might still be confused and you might be, you might be saying to yourself, what am I talking about? So accountability is when you have a partner or someone else that do, does that particular thing you want to do with you. So if it's going for a jog every single day, if you had the, if if you was just you going for a jog, uh, and you haven't yet uh, developed that habit of going for a jog every single day, then it would be really hard to go for a jog, uh, especially if you're alone. But if you had a friend who you agreed to go for a jog every single day at 9 a.m., then the chances are you are less likely not to show up, and because. We don't want to let the other person down. We don't really want to let the other person down. So we show up for a jog. If you agreed with your friend to show up at 9, you most likely going to show up because you don't want to upset your friend. A lot of times we are okay upsetting ourselves and letting ourselves down. But when it comes to letting other people down and upsetting other people, we think twice about it and we are more hesitant to actually upset our friends so think about you agreeing with your friend the day before we're going to meet at 9 a.m and we're going to go for a jog and you don't show up you're going to make that friend upset and he's probably uh, not going to jog with you anymore at 9 a.m so you are more likely much more likely in fact than if you just have to show up for you uh, alone with yourself so why do I bring this up? Why do I bring accountability up? Because it's really important when it comes to business. If you want to start an online business or any type of business, if you had a partner, if you had somebody that you could go out, show up, go to an office or go to a cafe, or go to a library and work together on the business, you are more likely to show up. He's going to push you. You're going to push him. And it's just going to be much easier to... Uh, get stuff done instead of one mind you have two mind now and and if something doesn't work out the way it, it, it needs to be uh, having two mind uh, it's it's better than having one because more likely you're going to come up with a solution for the problem when you discuss and when you have two people working on something than just one so uh, use accountability towards your advantage use accountability towards your advantage because it can really help you succeed so whether it is going to a gym find a training partner where you can go to the gym with if it's starting a business find a business partner if is going out there and uh, dating uh, find someone else that wants to go out there and date and approach or whatever and go with that person whatever it is uh, go and try to do it with someone else. It always helps to have someone else with you and have two people working on something. And accountability is really key and it's really big in regards to becoming successful and achieving the things you want. You are more likely to show up for other people than for yourself. And there is also a human bias or uh, a way of being a human is that we often do so much more, uh, uh, so much more for others than ourselves. Uh, it's it's a it's a, a big reason why we do something for someone else. Like we often do stuff for others that we would never in a hundred years do for ourselves. And it's very odd. It's it's strange how it works because 
you would well, you would want to think okay if i if i would want to do everything for myself right but just that we do more for other people than we do for ourselves most often and the doing something for other people is a stronger why is a stronger reason why you have to do something whether that's pleasing them or whether that's like for example your spouse or someone and you don't you really want to um make stuff happen and you don't want to let that person down so really use accountability to or your advantage and try to set up accountability uh in your life whether that is uh, starting a business or going to the gym or starting a career or going and look for a job whatever it is that you might do want to do if you have someone with you is less likely you will um you you will fail and more likely you will show up so use accountability to towards your advantage and you cannot go wrong with with accountability and getting to where you want to go that's it really that's a short and sweet video uh, leave me a comment below tell me your biggest takeaway tell me if you agree and get my free training uh, link in the description and thanks again for taking the time to watch this video until next time Another video. Take care.